The Meuse River defines national borders as it meanders through Europe to the sea. For centuries, boundaries like this between Belgium and the Netherlands have been the source of bloody disputes. But what's happening here is positively peaceful. We begin in the city of Maastricht's medieval archive. Well, rivers divided nations, especially in this region. The River Meuse has always been a, a border river. These maps show how the borders between Belgium and the Netherlands changed as powers came and went. But the two countries have always been clearly defined by the Meuse. That's until the river changed too. In the 1830s, when Belgium gained independence from the Netherlands, the river was artificially straightened turning a piece of Belgian land into a peninsula that's only accessible from the Netherlands. This is what the border looks like now. Under a new plan, both countries have agreed to swap territory peacefully and realign the border. If you live in a country where there are so many borders, you can't just live isolated. That's perhaps the reason why problems are solved here without, without great violence. The pieces of land are the size of 15 football pitches. The only inhabitants a herd of wild and inquisitive horses. So here we have it. Leaving the Netherlands and entering Belgium is as simple as passing this post. The area is a magnet for nature lovers, but locals say the secluded spots also become increasingly lawless, attracting illicit activity. And then three years ago, locals discovered a decomposing corpse here. They immediately alerted the Dutch authorities, who told them that because this was Belgian territory, it was under Belgian jurisdiction. The only problem is the Belgian police would have to ask permission from the Dutch authorities to go through the Netherlands and back here onto Belgian land. And it's also impossible to make it across the river because there are no places to moor boats. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? Which is why last month, the foreign ministers of both countries met in Amsterdam to sign and seal the landmark land swap in the presence of the Dutch and Belgian kings. The change becomes official in January 2018. A simple solution to a centuries-old problem. Not that the locals will really notice. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, in the southern Netherlands.